Mr. Jones, Mr. Ray in the hemp industry. Uh, you're here today to uh, lobby that, uh, of course, hemp is exempt from this legislation. Uh, you're concerned that the bill doesn't differentiate between hemp and marijuana. And I'm trying to do a little bit of trying to differentiate that as well. I understand that hemp does not have the THC content that marijuana does, but it is, in fact, a marijuana plant that has been breeded to a strain of non-THC, but it is a marijuana plant, correct? Is the basis of the plant, the species of the plant is cannabis sativa. That, that's sativa. the plant species. Okay. But hemp has been created by plant breeders breeding out the THC content. And so just, uh, so it's the same species, mm -hmm. but it's a fundamentally different product. High in CBDs as, as well. Yes. Okay, which is a good thing for medicinal use, although it's used mainly in food products. Uh, is there a actual prescribed medical hemp pill out there for people who are seeking it, like people with schizophrenia, people with these pediatric uh, issues? I, I just want to differentiate, and I'm sure that uh, Mr. Jones would, would agree with this. There's a difference between hemp oil, which you can buy to the store right now, which yep. is a great health supplement uh, uh, filled with antioxidants, so make it three, nine, yep. six, nine, and uh, CBD oil, which is actually made from the flower, the trichomes on the flower. The first one, the hemp oil is made by pressing of seed, and, uh, and the other is made from the trichomes or cannabinoids in the flower. Now, uh, hemp does contain, some hemp does, has higher CBD content and certainly could be used in the production of CBD medications as it is in uh, in the US and in uh, Europe as well. Okay. Now, the hemp industry, is it as tightly regulated as the marijuana uh, licensed producers? Do you have we, the security issues that you have to deal with and, and such? And you mentioned that the buds and the leaves, you cannot harvest that at all? Right. You have to incinerate them and, and right. remove that? We, no. we have to apply for a license every year okay. as a licensed cultivator of, of hemp, as do all the farmers who grow hemp, as well as do all the processors that we can sell to. So we can't sell our hemp seed okay. or hemp grain except to processors or buyers who also have a Health Canada license. Mm. So we apply every year for a Health, health Canada license. Okay. Today, under the industrial hemp regulation, we cannot collect the buds or the trichomes or the, the, the leaf bracts or the flowers of, of, the, of the hemp plant because they are what contain, tend to contain a higher level of any cannabinoids, whether it's THC or CBD. Uh, the, the challenge that's created is we're already producing a lot of CBD on our farm. We, we actually we have phytosanitary standards, plus as a or certified organic producer, we have a number of inspection certifications and we have to adhere to a number of standards and processes. Um, the crop, hemp crop we grew on our farm this year uh, produced likely in the area of 10,000 kilograms of CBD, but we had to spread it on the ground as chaff. We're prohibited under the industrial hemp regulation from harvesting the portion of the hemp plant that contains the CBD. 